Hey, good morning, everybody. I'm running off to get a haircut right now because I called in and they're like, you can come in right now. So I'm going to do that. Here it is. Check it out. The fish tank already looks like it's getting better. So it's awesome. Aaron is pointing out, doesn't this fish look like it's getting a lot larger? It looks huge now. Like, we haven't really been feeding the tank too much, so I don't know what he's been eating. He's been eating the snails. Eating the snails. I still have to unpack all my stuff. It's all on the ground. But first, I'm going to head off to the gym. See you there. <laughs> What's up, back from the gym? I still need to get back into shape. I feel like when I flew back the other day, I feel like <laughs> I'm so tired and jet lagged, so I haven't been able to get my energy back or anything. Anyway, I thought I would give a really quick gym tip since you guys kept asking about it. To all you new viewers, I thought I'd just reiterate what I had said on previous vlogs, just in case you missed it. Just because what I say works for me doesn't mean it's gonna work for you. You really have to just try it out and see what works for you. This is what I found out works for me, especially after like many years of working out. The first thing a lot of people ask is like, don't you overtrain like when you work out so much? But when I first started working out, I didn't work out every single day. Freshman year, I worked out three times a week, and sophomore year, four times, junior year, five times, senior year, six times, and then after that, I did about seven times a week. I have worked my way up to that, so now my body's pretty much used to that. Another thing people ask me about is my workout routine. <laughs> The problem is that I just kind of do what I feel like doing. I like to work out the larger muscle groups first. For example, I like to work out chest, back, and legs at the beginning of the workout and then work my way to the smaller muscle groups. I always end with biceps or triceps. I like to use free weights a lot more just because you can do a lot of different stuff with it. I do like to do at least one chest, one back, and one leg exercise every single time I go to the gym just to get the blood flowing. I think that's really important more than how heavy you can go. Um, the most important thing is making sure that you can feel blood flowing through whatever muscle you're working out. For example, if you're doing chest, you really want to squeeze so you can feel the chest working out. If you don't feel it, if you're just doing really heavy weights, which I used to do, and I didn't even feel anything, it's really not going to do anything for you. You really want to um, squeeze and try to feel that the blood flowing through your muscles. Especially for ectomorphs, what I read was that you want to be working more on your larger muscle groups. I like to do a lot of workouts where it combines a lot of different muscle groups. For example, chest press, which works out your chest, shoulders, and triceps. Or lat pull downs, which works out your lats, which is your back, and your biceps. A while ago, I had mentioned what my workout routine was for my arms. I like to cycle between three different things usually. When I work out my arms, I like to do um, shoulders, biceps, and triceps. Either lateral raises like this, or I like to do them like this, or hold them vertically like this. Eight of these. Then I go into my tricep exercise, which is these by one hand each, or I like to do it like tricep extension like this. Then I do 21s. 21s are you do you pick up your weight and it works out your entire bicep not just like the tip of it. So what you do is you start off at going halfway for seven, then you stop after seven, and you do seven from the top halfway, and then you do seven all uh, full, do a full seven like that. And that would count as like one set for all of those. And I start at the beginning again with my shoulders again. So and what I do is I just use the same weight for all of those, except for the triceps maybe. And as I've mentioned before, if you really want to make your arms look big, it's not only your biceps, it's your shoulders. I found the shoulders really make your arms look really big. And that will catch you up on all the workout stuff that I had spoken about in all my vlogs. So now you're caught up. Yeah! I just saw this awesome trick and I thought that I would show it to you guys too. And you can play along too at home. Do it, okay? All you need is a deck of cards. So pause the video right now and get your deck of cards. Or, or try it later on, like come back and like replay the video and try this trick. It works. Shuffle the deck of cards and choose nine cards out of it. So here, I'll just choose nine. One, two, three, four, five, eight, nine. And then what you do is after you grab your nine cards, shuffle the cards around. 
shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Once you do that, fan your cards out and look at them. Okay. So, fan your cards and choose the third card from your left. One, two, three. Think of what you have and memorize your card, okay? In my example, I have a four of hearts, but for whatever you have, think of what you have and memorize it, okay? Then put, put the cards back together. Now, whatever, how many, whatever you have, you're gonna spell it out. So, for example, I have a four, so F-O-U-R. If you had um, a seven, then you would spell S-E-V-E-N, or if you had an ace, then you would write A-C-E. Okay, so let's go. So since I had a four, I would go F O U R. Okay, then take the rest of your cards and put it on the top. Okay, every card has a middle name which is of O F. So go O F and put it on top. And then, then you say your suit. So I had hearts, so H-E-A-R-T-S, and then put it on top. Okay, now let's spell my name, Ryan. R-Y-E-N. Now take this, take the card that's on the top of your deck and look at it. It's your card, yeah, four of hearts. What? Did it work for you? Let me know. <laughs> All magic credit given to Justin Flom for showing this awesome magic trick. Yeah, pretty cool. Hey, what's up? As I had mentioned, I have no food at home, so I'm gonna run off to Whole Foods right now. I haven't been there for so long, I'm excited. See you guys there. Whole Foods time, yeah. There's a kid like going through all of these and just like eating it all. <laughs> this is like all free food, what? <laughs> Apple juice tower. <laughs> Should get the person to be like, can I get that one at the top? I want the one, I only want the top one. I'm always shopping when I'm hungry, which means I always end up buying like so much stuff. I already grabbed a lot. I want it all. So good. Ooh, even these quiches and pot pies look so good. I'm so hungry. Everything looks good. Okay, this is so much food. This is the worst. I spent so much money. I always spend way too much when I'm hungry. <laughs> Let's check out what I got. So I got my dinner, which I'll show you guys later. I got eggs. I got my favorite honey whole wheat bread here. Some broccoli. Broccoli. Got the awesome berries. This is so good. Oh, love crunch. I had mentioned in earlier vlogs, these, I got these two. This is my favorite one. The um, strawberry. Strawberry and chocolate. This is so good with vanilla soy milk which I happen to buy here. Yeah! Also bought here some cold care stuff so I don't catch a cold. Umka, which is always awesome. Oil of oregano. So, yeah! That's what I got today. And this is what I got for dinner here. Barbecued pulled pork, turkey pasta, and grilled vegetables. So good. I'm so hungry, I'm gonna eat this. Hey, so I thought I would do a quick aquarium update. It's kind of late at night, so a lot of the corals have closed up already. But it seems like everything's coming back to life. I put that red slime thing in, and it seems... I don't know. It still seems to be there, though. The red slime still seems to be there. This one died. I better take that out. But other than that, everything seems to be okay. I fed the tank yesterday. I spot-fed them, and the corals seem to all take the food because I hadn't spot-fed them in a while. So, yeah. Look at this epic Pikachu Christmas tree. Another Pokemon reference. How it looks. Repel's effect wore off. How it feels. Okay, it's getting really late. I'm gonna head to bed and I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm doing awesome things tomorrow. Going to San Francisco to meet up with my friends and we're gonna do some touristy stuff. So it should be awesome. I'm excited for it. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night! Yo, we're playing Mario Kart. Who's gonna win? Place your bets. It's gonna be big. What do you know? Ryan wins. Oh, John's second. Come on, Matt. Come on. You're not 12th at least. Yay! <laughs> Looks like I'm first again. 
Matt, because you chose like the 